hey y'all and welcome back to my page my name is jade and on my page i normally post about my tuba reversal slash ttc journey and i post braid tutorials now it's been a few years since i've actually made a video and i do feel very bad about it so i'm here now i'm trying to try to be more consistent now with posting on here but a lot of things have happened like i lost my my charger so this camera, I moved recently, and just so many other life changes that has taken place and has caused me to backtrack on making videos on YouTube. So I first want to apologize to everyone that comes to my page to look for updates and I haven't posted in a while. Um, I'm really sorry. I just want to go ahead and get into this video. I'm going to give y'all updates on what's been going on as far as my TTC and how my tubal reversal has affected me so far throughout the years. And yeah, stay tuned. So it has been three years since I've had my tubal reversal. And I know a lot of you guys are wondering, did I get pregnant? What's been going on with me? Why have I not been posting? So I'm going to get into that right now. So I first want to get into the tubal reversal, how it has affected me throughout the years. Um, I can say there's definitely a difference in my body um, as far as me getting older as well. And you guys don't know, I am 31 years old. <laughs> Everyone thinks I'm younger, but yes, I am a mom. I already have kids. So the tubal reversal has affected me in a few ways and some good and I can say some are bad. Some of the things that I can say that I noticed that I do not like after having my tubal reversal is the acne. I never had acne, not even as a teenager, and I noticed it after I had my surgery. So that was like one of the symptoms that I started noticing, like literally two months after um, my tubal reverse, so I would get acne. And now before all of my cycles come on, I get, I get acne. So that's one thing I can say is it's like my body has reversed some of the symptoms. Like for instance, uh, like I said, the acne, um, I'm starting to have more cramps. My cramps are a little more intense. They were already like, you know, a little bad, but now they're more intense. And my flow, um, my flow is heavy. It feels like I'm literally starting all over again, my teenage years. <laughs> so I guess it did reverse some things. Um, I feel like it has also affected me too because I have pain here and there. It's not like every day, but it does seem like there may be some cysts or whatever going on. And I've been to doctors and they all tell me that it's either it's not nothing to worry about or um, it's not as bad as I think or, or I don't have it. So it's like that's another thing I'm going to get into as well that I just it's been a lot. It's been a lot. It's been very discouraging for me to want to even get on here and talk about everything. So. Um, I do not like the acne that I've been getting and the little, I don't like the acne, the pain. Um, I don't like the scar. It made my scar, it made my C-section scar even worse because they had to go through my C-section scar. I don't like that. It seems like I have this pudge that won't go away. And before I got the tuba reversal, I had a small pudge, but it was not bad like this. I was able to work on it. Now it just seemed like it's like permanent. And I'm assuming that's because of some of the scar tissue. So that's another thing I can say about it. Um, another thing I can say is that I don't like that I have not became pregnant yet. So that's a, that's another thing that I can bring up. Or that's another thing that I can say that I don't like. And I know you guys have been wondering. No, I have not been able to get pregnant. And um, it's been it's been really tough. So it's like throughout the journey and throughout these years after the two reversal, having so much hope and spending money and time and you know just actually wanted to have another kid it's been very stressful so i've been doing a lot of things to take my mind off of it um of course you guys know i'm a dancer sometimes i post little dance tiktoks on my page which doesn't get most views but i expect it because i know this page is really about my two reversal and my bird tutorials so the good things i can say about the two reversal is there's still hope and I am scheduled to do a blue dye test on uh, my tubes to see if they're still open. Um, if they're not, I'm pretty sure there's some other solutions. But the one pro I can say that I really try to stay positive about is knowing that at least I got the clips taken off. 
so there has to be some type of hope there has to be some type of way for it to you know for this to happen and um i could also say that um it has really like opened my eyes to like you know being careful about making decisions like lifelong decisions like this like if you are a young female and um, you feel like you don't want to have a baby and you feel like you just want to live you know carefree and you just want to go ahead and like tie your tubes i would say don't do that i'm all against like putting medications in your body and stuff like that but if you just have to do that i prefer you not to make a permanent uh decision like that because you never know you might find somebody who you really want to have a baby with and they may be the one you get married and you know and right now i'm trying to hold back tears because me make i made that decision a long time ago getting in the clips on my tubes because i was just so depressed and stressed with the person i was with didn't even know i didn't even think that um my life would be what it is today i didn't think that i would be able to get out of that situation and i was just so young and naive to to think that that was all i had so i would say do not make decisions like that so you know and but yeah i have not been I have not been able to have a child and it's been three years a lot of the doctors have not been helpful at all the doctor that did my tube reversal i'm not gonna get on here and um i'm not gonna get on here and bash him or anything but he's not really helpful that office is not helpful um it was a i guess a good cost like the price was decent um for you know in my area but they wasn't really helpful with, with all of this. Um, after my like surgery and everything took place and I realized like a few months that, you know, things weren't working and I was feeling a little extra pain, it was hard to get in contact with them. They wouldn't really answer questions. They would want me to schedule like a doctor's appointment. And you know, that was, those, those things cost. And at the time I did not have insurance. So everything came out of pocket. Um, but yeah, that's what's been going on with me. Um, we recently moved. I don't want to get into details with that. That's another thing that has really, really stressed us out as well. Um, especially in this economy. Moving was like something we should have not done. And that's another thing. Um, not only did that take place, but I switched jobs. The job I'm at is very stressful, high demanding. And it's been so much if y'all have any questions, just, um, you know, if you guys have any questions, just comment down below. I will answer them. I'm going to stay more consistent now that I have my charger back to my camera. Um, I'm going to try to stay on top of this page and um, try to see if I can help other women out there like me. And just, we can just be a support, a support for each other because um, this can get kind of hard. But I just wanted to post this video. It's been so very long. Again, I apologize and I'm going to do better. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.